10 episodes of Dana Gemohra Talav and Daily, Malta's only bilingual show. I'm speaking in, in English so that all of you English viewers will know that we will be switching languages throughout this program so you will understand every word. Can I not tell them English? I hope you have to talk to me about the program Bilinguista ta Malta. Mela, the first thing is that we will be discussing the development of the coronavirus. We will discuss the position of the Camera of the Negotiator Medi, which is the first thing to do with the financial measures. We will discuss the story of the different things that we have done in the past. U marġa u moru l-ura fizmin, narġa u mundaħ l-ura l-istoria t-til ta' Daphne Karwana Galizja bla fil-Molta bla ħar detali eskrusivi brabta ma kiet xkembli. Imma, eja, nħdu past l-ura u nibdew min l-ura soja tana. Bonġu, Chris, kif inti? Om t-irrankata da l-odi. Weekend lockdown. Look, I think obviously Molta is still in a very strange situation of, I would say, like voluntary lockdown, you know. I went to Valletta briefly yesterday, the streets were completely empty. Uh, the beach is less so, you know, I think people are, are, are still going out. Um, but in general, it's just a completely different uh, situation for businesses as well, as, as we'll speak uh, about that later. But I think we should start by giving a, a bit of an update of uh, the the reality, the health reality of the coronavirus. I mean, I've seen a lot of people update officially or have been told by the authorities that the situation of the coronavirus is not a good thing. We've been told that the information is not a good thing. We've been told that the information is not a good thing. We've been told that the information is not a good thing. We've been told that the information is not a good thing. Bil-coronavirus pajizna kolla kem muma ġew importanti min barra min Malta fil-wakt li zewġ pazienti għaddilom dan il-virus pero jinsabu recoverati. So we've had 21, so we've had 21 cases in total, two of whom have recovered and all of whom have uh, have got the, the disease not as a result of local transmissions. Um, so that's now we we'll see mm -hmm. the update today whether there would be um, any any change on that. We also had a minister who tested mm -hmm. negatively. Yes, negative. Senula, the minister of the Mujulia Paraja Forte, Lili Kella Kuntat, a person who Kella, who has Kella, the coronavirus, pero risulta li manda xej, pero xor ta' ta' min l-ladn mu ta' ħadmu li ta' ħaw ta' ot f-quarantina. Kif ma nistaw xnajdu għazzewġ persuni illi għara vizit fiddar ta' ħom mil-pulizija instabu li ma kienuċ għedin ta' ħt il-quarantina mandatarja. Daw n-nis imissom jistħu. Mel intan dek minet jammel volumtri quarantajn, pali li pal paċuċ ħa, kene no għot iddar min kene man diċejn, pali eluf ta' familji bitfali ti provaw iraz no tfal taħħu middar un ma ti kollok tinejn ċweċ illi ħarġu embara min kene li quarantina su post mandatarja. Il-multa ija ta' 1000 euro, kikwi jena nzit inne man xejn maħa, forsi jek ma jibizawx min il-multa jibizaw min il-persekuzzjoni ta' nis. There's an interesting point on that, which is that the law technically tells you that you cannot give Uh, an illness to someone uh, knowing that you're doing so but it's restricted to certain parts of the law so it could be so if the if the government wanted to they could actually add coronavirus to the law and that would create a, a prison time for anyone who is um, willingly or unwillingly giving giving the illness to someone else yesterday we also had a very good press conference by by health minister chris fern who was i think quite reassuring about the the situation maybe you can give us a brief chris fern is a reassuring person to begin with let's start with he is a technocrat who a technocratic who is very much laħa ministru għassaħa għalix uħobbu hinnis u għapopolis li jafxin u għajamel u għiet jatwa li jamel. Għandu rrispet kbir min l-staff ta' Mater Day illi t-tobba muxi provaw jisfidaw imma jafu li għandu s-sens u li ħajimxu miħaw. Proset kbira li lu li t-tim tijaw u muxi xiena fem min l-staff. I think you should declare your bias a bit of it. Għandu rrispet kbir u kelli l-opportunita li naħdem ma' Chris Fern u għabni jidem li tu peċer taħdem miħaw. Pero, muċi xiena fem minista, wieħet għandu jiftakar illi maġoranza tal-postijiet olja 
Fil-Ministeru tas-saħħa prisptar u ma fidejn in-nisa għifrija nassijo u tal istar sidja falzon insel mula minaw jammara. Subedendent tas-saħħa publika Prof. Xamien Gawċi jammara em għad tani suħra jmixu d-departi tal-istar u jinnem ben il-li dik jaw għada mir-raġuni tani skollos u under control. I think we should actually really give a shout out to Xamien Gawċi especially um, it's really refreshing seeing this this uh, female leadership and and it's been incredible leadership so far you yes. know so so uh, we'll just move on to the story about businesses so as we know um, several businesses are really really worried about the situation business has completely stopped in Malta uh, whether it's tourism or retail etc the supermarket like yeah uh, we'll just cut to a clip uh, by the the chamber of SMEs in Malta that were gave a, a big warning that employment is is um, basically in peril because of the situation. Ira Paolo Abela, President Tal Camera Tal Negozi Zaromedi, O Ira et Nindrit Salilek Hadima, Bil Mizur Iriamel Gver, Elbira, Mais Welsh, Uinti. L'impiego di un'altra persona è stato E allora, il rido è appello al governo. 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 Il rido è Tej minis jew tlieta minis. U aħna dan qed nappellaw lill-Gvern biex da jitħallas minn naħa tal-Gvern. Issa irid nappella l-Gvern biex jibda bil-miżuri serji u mhux dawk il-miżuri li jagħmel. Waħda minnhom għandha tkun li tliet kwarti tal-paga għandha titħallas mill-Gvern. Il-Gvern għandu mezzi biex da jiffinanzjah. As we've seen, um, really stark kind of uh, warning over there. Um, I, I think obviously, you know, the, the, the measures that Robert Abela announced last week, which were to delay um, certain tax, tax payments uh, and to add some, some initiatives for teleworking, um, it, it's not going to change the situation. Uh, and this, this is what businesses are saying effectively, that those measures are not nearly enough to uh, guarantee jobs for, for people. I don't know what you think about that. I don't know what you think about that. Placca, the love and the very minish nabel. Mena. And if you know, Kelcom Polin Tom is a solenness, Yak Yablush, Madrezion, and you call Prime Minister Robert Abella. The majority is a solution, and that Abel is a misery, and you can do so. Mena. Anna, Anna. Pajis li u maqbud min fuq Facebook e tiktep isma lockdown, lockdown, ma ħalus in nisjo għorġu. Għandek il-businesses li li tajdu lek li ma ne fil-ħux nalqu għal periodu ta' lockdown, għal ix jafikun em konsekwenzi għbar, għat għansi għase ketin jajdu il-businesses li jankaj jkrib għawi opera u pħalissa l-konsekwenzi diġa u ma koloħ. Jiena li ma nista xalija din il-mentalita illi jek il-business privat tijak ħaj juħu daqqa, tmura nti l-gvern, titkilu isma mpalali illi jiri tina xaħġa biex immurtajjeb. Mena meta għal biznesin sewa fisnin riċenti, kienu għat jamlu profitti enormi ta' nti li minna ħanu tbijet fetħu t-nejn, li ta' eba ħamsa franċajzis. Sorry ta', mena nti ma ġemma, għax muċi muċi għovi liġġi riċessjoni, xie dar forsi ma fiftenejn iġġeja issa, imma dar biznesis, muċ għana li momi jimmin iġ biznes woman. I think, I, think, I, think you have to, I think you have to keep in mind, first of all, Malta was going through a very different economic reality and businesses were actually investing in... in um, so you in, don't in see for things. a rainy day? No, I think, I think you do, but the, this, this reality is extraordinary. So this is not a rainy day, this is business going from whatever it was to zero overnight. You know, you have a Malta going from selling 1,200 flights every day to selling zero every day. And that creates 
uh, huge uncertainty in terms of unemployment. In terms of unemployment, now we could just say we could just say we could just say that people will uh, will lose their jobs, and you know yeah. the, the the private sector will change, will, will adapt to these situations. But similarly, we're not saying that on on a health front. So we're not saying you know some people are going to die from this virus, so we should all keep going about our days normally. We're saying we need to take. Uh, pretty extreme measures and now you know what businesses are saying is that if we don't take these extreme measures in terms of uh, giving businesses some life support over these next weeks months we don't know how long this is going to take then we're going to have mass unemployment and that's a, 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 a huge different reality from Walter than what we've been experiencing Harris Lane, listen yet, the firm of the Nitra, the Chamber of SMEs. The Mumis businesses, the Klua, the Mataya Elawa, the Jivri Almin, my Fimsh, the same Matia Jivri Mush business, the Tantu Zai, the day to day, the Yuza, the Kiliati Da. The Mataya businesses, the Liftis, the Harris Lane, are blue prophetic bars, Gura, she's a bad day. Investment, 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 you can't business that's a gbeer. Tiġi xtajli illi le ma konċet et-taħseb għal-kas. Tiġi fili jekk il-pajis kien bila għal-bizzejjet illi min dejne tressif spiċa b-sebras għandu l-fruz biċi għassam. ġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġġ
اللي كنا من أورا ده نجري عن على ده أتتكينا سو تان تيم ليدر نفدتو وتلف هاي توفت التلهين وراء اللي جيري كفرات اللي سبتار الصوت وكريس داول ستير يكونوا هيدلاين اللي كتار لي السمي ويكونوا فولو ده بما ده أسلي كيكو ويسا صارو أهبار زايرا الدنيا بارتيالمنت وقفت إما سفورتونا تامنت uh, just just to make a, a note of it in English for those who aren't uh, who don't understand Maltese, a 37 year old Nigerian was killed yesterday in Aura in a night attack. Um, so we'll keep following that story and any updates on it uh, on loveinmalta.com. Um, and the last story for today is a, is a breaking exclusive story uh, by Love in Malta this morning. Um, which takes us back to the Daphne Caruana Galizia murder investigation. So if you remember, um, the Keech Kembri, the, the former chief of staff of former Prime Minister Joseph Muscat, has, has always from, from day one insisted that he was the, the, the brains sort of behind bringing the FBI to Malta for this, for this investigation. Now let's remember the FBI was a crucial aspect in the investigation because it, it enabled the triangulation data that got um, that got us to the, the, the executors, the executioners of, of this case. Um, now, Keech Kemri has always made the argument, you know, why would I have been involved? I, I, I got the FBI to Malta. But it turns out that he wasn't the person who came up with the idea and coordinated the FBI's involvement. Um, that person was the head of the counterterrorism unit, uh, a person called George Cremona. Um, and he... Um, uh, sources are telling Love in Malta that he was the person within two hours of Daphne Corona Galizia's murder to call up uh, his counterparts in the in the FBI and then request uh, the police commissioner to approve it. So uh, now now Keech Kembri in court had made had told a very different story. Uh, he said that within 20 or 25 minutes he told the he told the prime minister that he was going to coordinate the FBI's. Um, involvement in the case through the U.S. Embassy. So now there's another another version of that. Obviously, it'll be interesting to see now how this develops investigation. Um, anything to say about that, Paula? No, it's for two nights. I'm in the coronavirus. The last time Kontni prefer li ki kole, għarri xilkas forsi s-solva daq xejn iktar malar, dan inċertezzi ma' mnutaja pal-ħat. Pero uħet jara u li dan u għabdejt interessanti, uħet jara forsi janka kħit kembri kif jirrispondi għal dir istorja minnaħa ta' kif etteġi publikata minnaħa ta' kom u l-verġjoni ti' għaw jow jibqax fiskiet kif għat jam insissa. Eku. Um, so that's it. As Paula said, courts are, are suspended at the moment. Schools are on lockdown. Uh, there's no travel happening. Basically, uh, you, if you come to Malta, you're going to be in quarantine for, for two weeks. So as the Prime Minister said yesterday, Malta is on a partial lockdown. Uh, that doesn't so mean that you can't uh, leave the house or, or you know, uh, continue going as... as much as you can with, with your daily life, but it does mean that if you've got kids, keep them out of school and keep them out of public places. Um, it does mean... You can see an ancient problem with the mart of the third stage. Keep yourself in isolation. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're teleworking. I think there's a point as well where going back to businesses, um, and it's great that there's a grant for businesses who are migrating to teleworking. In our case, um, we've moved almost completely remotely. Uh, we, we will be covering the press conference um, that should be coming out uh, soon in the next 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's been a bit of a longer episode than usual because we had a bit of a debate. Um, but thank you for watching and keep on loving. Uh, keep on loving. This episode of Love and Daily was brought to you by Chevo by Wayne.